According to the research made by the Small Business Administration Office of Advocacy in 2018, roughly 80% of small businesses survived the first year. Even worse, only about half of small businesses survive past the five-year mark. Beyond five years, only about one in three small businesses get to celebrate their 10th birthday. Welcome to Nurtured by Books, a community where young entrepreneurs find ideas from books that make businesses successful. If you are new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on insightful content like this. In this video, we will be discussing why most small businesses don't work and what to do about it, from the e-myth revisited by Michael Garber. Most small business owners are not entrepreneurs. The greatest motivation of many aspiring entrepreneurs who start small businesses is to become their own bosses. Since an employee hates his job for reasons like not getting enough freedom to do what they want, the employee decides to quit the job and starts doing the technical work they have been doing on their job, but this time without a boss. The employee thinks that since they understand the technical work of a business, they understand the business that does the technical work. The number one reason why most small businesses fail is because people who start them are not entrepreneurs, they are technicians with an entrepreneurial seizure. In the middle of the journey, the small business owner gets overwhelmed by the unexpected demands that come with the growth of the business like bookkeeping, marketing, taxes, risk management, among others. Suddenly, a job he knew how to do well becomes one job he doesn't know how to do at all. At the end of the day, instead of becoming free from the limitations of working for somebody else, he gets enslaved by his own business, which has become the job he formed himself. And suddenly, an entrepreneurial dream turns into a technician's nightmare. Building a business that works According to Michael Garber, one should work on one's business and not in it if one wants to build a business that lasts. Working on a business means building your business with a franchise prototype model. This means building your business as if you are going to sell franchises of it eventually. Build your business like you are building a product that can be reproduced many times. The business as a product would only sell if it worked. And the only way to be certain that it would work in the hands of the franchise anywhere in the world would be to build it out of perfectly predictable components that could be tested in a prototype before it goes into mass production. After making all the departments of the business work, document in the simplest way possible how things are done in each component of the business such that anyone in the world can make the same business work this will be a guide to everyone on how your business does things. Create a business with a system that works once it is sold, no matter who bought it. A business that works is built on systems, not on people. If everything is in your head and you are the only one who can run your business, your business cannot grow. A system is a tested and proven way of doing things in a business. For you to build a system in each department, ask yourself these questions. How can I solve this problem forever? What is one solution procedure that I should take to do away with this problem? How do I give my customer what he wants while maintaining control of the business that is giving it to him? Test many possible solutions, then get the best that can be used consistently to obtain consistent results, the same way a chef would creates a recipe for making a cake with the same taste over and over. The franchise prototype is a place to conceive and perfect the system, to find out what works because you have worked it. The system isn't something you bring into the business, it is rather something you deliver from the process of building a business. The business model should be able to be operated by people with the lowest possible level of skill, because if your business depends on highly skilled people, it is going to be impossible to replicate. Highly skilled people are expensive, thus pushing you to raise the price of your service or product. Always ask yourself these questions. How can I give my customer the results he wants systematically rather than personally? 
how can I create a business where the results are systems dependent rather than people dependent? How can I create an expert system rather than hiring one? Remember that extraordinary businesses are not built by extraordinary people, but by ordinary people doing extraordinary things. But in order for ordinary people to do extraordinary things, a system, a way of doing things is absolutely essential in order to bridge the gap between the skills your people have and the skills your business needs to produce consistent results. The systems become the tools your people need to improve productivity, to get the job done in a way it needs to be done in order for your business to successfully differentiate itself from your competition. Remember, it is your job as the business owner to develop these tools and teach your people how to use them. It is your people's job to use the tools you have developed and to recommend improvements based on their experience with them. And here comes a question for those who have watched up to this far. In which part of the entrepreneurship journey are you? Please share with us in the comments whether you are still an employee, an aspiring entrepreneur, just started your business or even have just lost your business. That way we shall know the exact content members of our community need. Thank you so much for watching our videos. If you have found this one valuable, give it a thumbs up and share it with people you think it may help. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on interesting content like this. Turn on the notification bell to be the first to know when we upload a new video. Check on your screen, we have handpicked two more videos for you to enjoy next. See you in the next video.